What's happening YouTube? Today I'm going to go over a quick review of the Saybelt GT200 seats and the harness. I've had them in for a little bit now and I've um, logged a couple thousand miles on them on the Corsa Rally. Even sat on them for about 10 hours from the Jacksonville to, maybe not 10 hours, but uh, from Jacksonville all the way down to Miami leg. Let the attack begin. <laughs> the harness bar from Cypher Auto that I hooked up. It's pretty sturdy. Um, I hadn't tried putting anybody in the back seat. I'm not sure how well they would fit. Probably a kid, but I'd be scared to have my kids back here just in case if they hit the brakes really hard. I'm not sure if this will be in the way. This is my uh, Saybelt harness. This is how I have it. Um, looped through and looped over so it don't slip the other one isn't looped over like that um, yet I just want to show you how the other one looks versus how you lock it in place and of course I got all my stuff from Randall race parts out of North Carolina even the seats what I like about these seats is they're uh, like a carbon fiber and fiberglass setup and they um these are a double xl seat i'm not sure they make the double xl seat anymore so they're very comfortable and very supple and these are the gt 200 seats as you can see say belt harnesses i bought these harness pieces from renline.com so they mount down here where the seat belt goes the harness locks into it then goes through the seat loop um, these are all say belt um, side seats and these are actually sparco seat frames and sliders so I did like about it is having a slider so it's uh, adjustable so just grab it up front and slide it back then there the harness so I lock it in place Here's the seat rail. The one thing I could say I really don't like is how the, you can see right there cause the carpet is cut out, but it's all right. So that's it with the seat all the way back with the harness bars, harnesses in place with the harness bar. This is the driver side and with it in place. But one thing I did notice after on the rally, after the long leg from uh, Jacksonville to Miami, the harnesses will start, since they're kind of narrow up here, what they will do is they will start rubbing into your neck. And it feels like it's rubbing your neck raw after a while. So I contacted, uh, Randall race parts again and they sent me these it has the pad so so it has the pad on it to keep it from rubbing against your neck sharp edge non sharp edge like I said I love these seats they're super comfortable good until 2021 I am going to get the lap belt, that's the slot for the lap belt, I just hadn't got the lap belt pieces as yet. And this is how I it's mounted on the same, locked into place. And also this have the slider as well. And that's with it it all the way forward so these seats are super comfy and again you can see the cutout from the carpet and 
and this is what I was showing you on the other side. So these belts aren't in here all the way correct. So they're like this right now. I just need to go back over and loop this through here and pull it all the way like I did over on that side so they don't work themselves loose. So as you can see, I'm about to strap in. Then I usually slide it forward a little. And right there's the optimal for me. I'm strapped in. I like to have it a little bit loose while I'm driving so I couldn't move. Cause like before, when you're strapped all the way in, you can't lean over and do anything without unstrapping. But I like how the way, how it came out. I